Hello and welcome to Group 8's final game project uh, called Robot Rampage. Uh, as soon as you start our game, you start in this playable main menu area. Uh, we included this as a bit of a tutorial for the player. They can walk around, they can pick up some of the weapons that are found in the game, they can shoot them, they can get used to the controls. Um, so the first thing that the player would want to do if they're unsure is to actually view the controls by pressing the view control button on the main menu screen uh, here it tells the player everything they need to do to actually play the game and what all the buttons do on the keyboard uh, also if you look around the hood uh, there are uh, also indicators of how to play the game uh, how to use some of the controls such as the how to use something, how to shoot something, the drop buttons, and also the ping. Uh, what you just saw there was part of the attract mode. If you're idle long enough in the main menu, uh, a video will start to play just to show the player some sort of in-game footage. Here we go, this is the trailer for the game. Let's just play now. Let's play for a little bit just giving you some of the backstory of the game, showing off some of the enemies in the areas found within the game. Uh, just to get out of the attract mode you just hit sort of any button. Uh, so for instance there I literally just touched the mouse and it took us back here. Uh, so to first start our game you need to input your name. So we'll put my name there and hit OK. You'll then want to head over to the sound, uh, to the options where you can change the sound effects, the music, mouse sensitivity, render distance, and also resolution. For this uh, video, I'm just going to put the music really quiet so you can hear what I'm saying. We'll leave it on just a little bit, and then I'll also put the sound effects down as well, just so you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, so we'll hit new game to actually start. This loads you into the game. Here we go. So as you can see on the bottom of our screen, it goes over your objectives that you need to do. So the first one is get yourself a weapon. The weapons are located in the center of the hub. Also around the map, uh, it tells you your objectives on little floating sort of billboards around. Uh, you'll see these everywhere. There are also sort of indicators of where you currently are. So we are currently in the main hub. So if we first grab a weapon, it's moved the objective over to now finding the keycard. As you can see, the keycard itself is actually highlighted so that the player is able to know the direction of where they need to head to to actually get the next objective. So just click on it to use it and activate it. We'll grab another gun. And then we'll head to this place to start uploading the keycard. For these you literally just stand in front of them and it starts to load. At this point in the game enemies do start to spawn. Uh, in this area are the basic kinds of the robots. There are two types of robots. There are melee and ranged. You just saw a ranged one there shoot at me. We'll get it triggered. There we go. Uh, we added quite a a, d a distinctive trail onto the bullet so it's easier for the player to see on what uh, direction they came from. Also, as you're clearing through a wave, when there's only a few of the enemies left, they are highlighted so the player knows where they're coming from and it's easier for them to see and also to avoid if they are trying to escape them or get another weapon from the center. Let's kill these last two. Uh, also, when an enemy dies, it does drop its hands on the floor. These are weapons that the player can use that you can click on and equip. Uh, these weapons are stronger than the weapons found within the center of the map, but they've got lim a much limited ammo. So, it's up to the player to choose what they want to do. So, for this next objective, it says destroy the main boss. Now, I can't see any main boss, so... Well, he's there now. But if you couldn't see it, you press the ping function and it will actually highlight where your next objective is. Right. So 
So the main bosses uh, spawn at the end of each new wave. They've got a much larger health pool and do more damage. There we go. Uh, these enemies also do come in both melee and uh, ranged types as well. Also, their weapons that they drop off of their hands are stronger than the normal robot enemy weapons. Uh, also, I, I haven't mentioned yet, but there is an indicator around the screen that points to where enemies are on the map. Uh, like, in your general sort of vicinity, just to sort of help the player. Oh, see, there's one behind me there. Didn't see that one because I wasn't looking. Oh, and now I'm out of ammo in this gun, so it's better to, at this point, run back into the center. Trying to avoid some of the enemies and grab a better gun. I could have gone for some of the guns that the robots dropped, but I do prefer the ones in the center. Right, let's run past these robots real quick. They just saw I took some damage off of a robot. Uh, that was one of the melee units that attacked me. Also, on death, the robots do have a little voice line. So uh, remember, if you're unsure of where an objective is, you hit the ping option and it highlights it for you. Oh. There we go, we got that one. And again, we've got to take it to a terminal. But you've got to remember that when you start to upload to a terminal, more enemies do spawn and will try and get you. Oh, and if you step away from a terminal, it does eventually start to tick down. So it's better for a player to try and hunker down in front of a terminal to fully do it before running off and being attacked by robots. Here we go, upload complete. So I'm just going to let some of the robots actually shoot me and take me down now so I can choose some other functions. So I've now died, so above me it says game over. And in the centre of the map there is now a portal to the main menu of the game and also a reset function to the game. To get back to the main menu uh, as well you can press escape which does just take you back to the main menu uh, but we'll just use the reset function for now just so I can show that off uh, also now that I've died my score has been added to the leaderboard uh, with my name, my score and the amount of waves that I had completed uh, let's just go into the restart here we go and as you can see, I've been restarted at the start. I've got no score. My lives are back. Uh, my old score is still on the leaderboard. Uh, and the objective has been reset too. So if I press escape now, I'll just be taken back to the main menu. Here we go. Uh, to, uh, our game also does have a multiplayer function. So if I just press the join button now. Here we are. So we have James in and we have Reggie in. Uh, characters are all shown as little capsules on the map uh, with their name above them and also their current score. As we haven't started a game yet, they do not have a score. So if I type my name back in, hit OK. Uh, we do have a ready function actually in this game where each player has to hit new game to ready up. As you can see on Reggie it says ready and on James it says ready. Again, just going to turn the sounds down. We'll just turn the music off for now and just put the sound effects on a little bit more. There we go. 
Uh, so if I press new game, we'll all be taken into the game proper. Here we are. Uh, in our game, um, enemies are localized, and so are the objectives. So each person runs through their game on their own, but you can tell, uh, you can see on each person their score and ha when they die because then uh, added to the leaderboard. So we have sort of a it's not a co-op game we have, it's more of a competitive game, it, but you're just playing with your friends. So, we'll just start. So, uh, the other two players would not be able to see the robots that are spawning for me now, as I can't see theirs either. Just shoot the robots. Uh, also, you can ooh, you can see the uh, names of the other two players just around the map, so you can go and sort of like follow them around. If you want to, you can go into sort of a spectator mode. Uh, after you die, you are uh, uh, as I as you saw when I died, you can still walk around the map, so you can actually sort of spectate a player and just sort of follow them around the map if you would like. So, the big enemy is over there. Oh, as you can see, Reggie has died, and it says that he's dead. Uh, once I die, the leaderboard will be updated, so I can see the score that he got in the end. There we go. Uh, if I just die and restart now, let me just find some enemies to kill me. See, James died, and he only had a couple points on him. Uh, also, when you die, you do get a vignette around you, just to sort of, uh, like a red flash, just to make it easier for the player to see that you've been injured. So, if I head into the restart, uh, I'm not kicked out of this server, I'm kept in. And it literally just restarts me from the beginning. Here we go, and here we go. See, the leaderboard has been now uh, has now been updated. Uh, Reggie only scored 55, James 75, uh, but it has kept my old score from last time on my uh, own server, just so that I can uh, have my high score versus theirs. So. Uh, if Reggie disconnects now, his player capsule should disappear. There he goes. And if the host of the server, James, quits, it should stop the game, I do believe. Oh, uh, no. He's stopped his game, but the server is still running as I'm still in it and playing. If I leave the server, though, it will close. So if I head into the main menu and press exit, it will just finish the game. And uh, that's Robot Rampage.